Well, ladies and gentlemen, it's time to kick off New Year's knockout as we got down in the ring. Zay Vega of King Enterprises. There you see him. He's kneeling down in the corner. He's saying a little bit of a prayer, and he's got his army at ringside. He's going to be taking on Luca Daniels, making his debut here in NAWA Championship Wrestling. I'm joined by Golden Gladiator number two. Woo, baby, episode number 200. Never January thought we'd be 1st, here. 2022. Longest running episodic. Hey, uh, that's my line. Center show in the Carolinas, award winning, award winning show, award winning commentary team. We got award winning wrestlers. We got the Moonshine Express won some awards. We got the show won some awards. Man. We're going to be giving out awards. Mike Willie won some awards. We're giving out awards tonight. We got a guy making his debut, and we got the Singapore Assassin working. <laughs> Luca Daniels. I've said this before, but he don't look very Singapore to me. What about you? Not me either. What do you know about Luca here? I know that he's going to hate me for saying this, but I know he went through the Austin Idol Wrestling Academy or whatever it is, but he doesn't claim it. He hates Austin Idol, ladies and gentlemen. He wants to let you know that he was trained by none other than Michael Judas. Oh, he just stomped him on the foot in a big club and forearm. Is Mike, Zay Vega don't give a darn who, who trained Judas? Luca Daniels. Is Michael Judas the real identity of the big nasty bastard? I'm not real sure, but Luka Daniels showing some fight here. I think we B and B's real identity. Oh, big reversal. Takes him off his feet with a clothesline. You know, Luka kind of works like B and B. I think where he picked up that style from. Oh, I don't see this out of that repertoire there, but big neck breaker off the second row. Zay Vega down on the floor. Who is this cat? Somebody said his name was Brickhouse Jones. He's the muscle of the group. Just joined King Enterprises. I don't know what they call him, Pony Boy, or what they really call him. He's got a multiple amount of names. And Luca Daniels is, needs to be focused on the man in the ring and not these three and Michael King on the floor. That's his first mistake. It's a five on one here for poor little Luca. Yeah, that's exactly the numbers. Definitely. <laughs> Out of his favor here, Zay Vega took advantage of the mistake Luca Daniels made. And I did ask uh, referee Mr. Harkey if he had any of that case of Tito's left. I got him for Christmas, and he said, no, sir. A big leg drop. You see the height of that from Zay Vega there. Oh, oh Mr. Harkey. Only two gets count. him a two count there. Michael King and referee John Harkey definitely have a checkered pass. But Oh, he is just choking him right out here in the middle of the ring. Zay Vega, he's showing a, isn't, I'm not used to seeing this kind of a mean streak out of him, but I guess he's he's learning that. Look at that, Everybody's that clown that getting going. in the way. Doing the job for Zay Vega there. Oh, oh yeah. the, the numbers game. Oh, and the referee being distracted. Right there is King Enterprises getting involved early on here in this matchup. They better be focused on what they got on hand tonight. They're going to be taking on the Moonshine Express and James Brody in a six-man tag here. Mercenary for hire, James Brody. Later on in the show, as here we go. Luca Daniels getting back on his feet. Look at this. Look at the Look strength. At this. Strong the people stuff. Oh. Drops he it right on his head there. He picked that move up from his trainer, the big nasty one. Austin Idol would have told him to walk out of here and ask for more money. Yeah, but not Big Nasty. He'd have told him what to do right now. Oh, oh, over the top rope with that elbow and nobody at home. Zay Vega moving out of the way there. I wonder if we'll ever see Luca in overalls if they ever need an extra partner. I'm sure that he would do it for the right amount of money. But Zay Vega just stomping him out here. Money, money should not be an option when he's doing it for his trainer. Zay Vega really showing what he's got going on and you see all the hyenas there on the floor king enterprises you got squeaks the clown and aj frost and this new man look at this aj is just choking him out in the corner and this new guy now getting involved they all got to get a turn as zay vega did his job there distracting referee harkey that's right harkey's easily distracted well, here we go Big Irish whip there. Ducks, Ducks. the clothesline. Ducks. Ducks. Oh, Iceman King Parsons, the big old booty bump. Like a big leg lariat there. Sure. 
And again, a lot of these guys are they're getting easily distracted. Zay Vegas should have went right for that cover, hooked the leg. Zay needs to stay on him here. And he may have picked up the victory here. The victory got a long way for Zay right here. His credentials. Last time we saw him, he lost the match to Stuart Snodgrass. He's looking to rebound here on New Year's knockout, ladies and gentlemen. And Zay will also be a part in Lenore next Saturday. Well, I hope you made Doors your New Year's resolutions because Luca Daniel with a big blue thunder bomb there. Goes for the pin. Two. Kick out. Will Luca Daniels be in the bunkhouse stampede next week? We don't know, but we know that Zay Vega will be in it. We know Squeaks the Clown and AJ Frost. All three of those men be what part of the 30 men competing to win the vacated television title. Yeah, he probably won't be there, but there's no telling who's gonna show up for that big bunkhouse stampede. It's an annual tradition here. The fifth, I think it might be the fifth annual, sixth Number annual six, one. The sixth annual and the, the boogie woogie man, handsome Jimbo from Memphis, Jimmy Vane will be there to present the title to the winner. Holy Christ, big slam there from Luca Daniels after hitting the multiple Close line, look at that sling blade, switch blade, whatever you call it there, goes for the cover. And oh. only good enough for a two count. Lots of things happening here in the North American Wrestling Alliances. We've got things going on all over the state of North Carolina, South Carolina, you know, we got sister promotions down in your favorite town, Pacolet, with his pro wrestling, Patriotic Wrestling Federation. This year's just brought a Oh, a lot of new things here. What the, holy Christ, I don't know what he calls that. That's the Singapore sling. Oh, he just